Osteoporosis is an important cause of back pain in elderly. It's debilitating and recurrent, often frustrating both for the patient and the family. In this video, let's examine osteoporosis and its effect on your spine. Watch till the end of this video, friends, I'll be giving some simple effective treatment for osteoporosis. That said, let's get started. Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Arun Naik, a doctor for 30 years and a neurosurgeon for 20 years now. In this DocLogs channel, we have dialogue with our doctors. Dialogue with your doctor is called a DocLog. In this channel, we have DocLogs related to brain and heart health, lifestyle diseases, cancer, spine health and preventive health. We also give here simple effective tips and tricks to put you on the positive side of your health. With that said, let's get started. In our country, approximately 8 million ladies and 2 million men suffer from osteoporosis. That's in India. So it's more common in ladies. After the age of 50, one in every two women and one in four men will sustain some type of osteoporosis related fracture. So it is the disease of the elderly. As defined by the WHO, Osteoporosis is a generalized bone disorder of low bone mass and deterioration in its architecture causing susceptibility to fracture. In simple term, it is softening and weakening of the bones leading to repeated fractures, especially backbone fractures. Well, what is the cause of osteoporosis? Loss of estrogen in elderly women after menopause is the commonest cause. Estrogen maintains the bone density. Bone density is as such declines after the age of 40 in everyone. Osteoporosis runs in families. If you have your mom or sister with osteoporosis then chances are that you may get one. Osteoporosis is a silent disease friends. Unless you get a fracture you may not know that you have it. Now what are the symptoms? Commonest symptom is unexplained bone pains in the back and limbs or it may be a sudden severe back pain after a fall or lifting heavy objects. In advanced osteoporosis, people can get spinal fractures after a trivial activity like sneezing or even coughing. I recently had a patient coming with back pain after turning in the bed. Yes, so osteoporosis can really weaken your backbone. Friends, why it is difficult to diagnose an osteoporotic fracture? Unlike many other conditions, diagnosing a vertebral compression fracture is not as straightforward as one would think, especially when an elderly person complains of back pain. It is often assumed to be just general back pain, a normal part of aches and pains associated with aging. In most cases, a standard x-ray easily shows a compression fracture of the spine. Now, how to diagnose osteoporosis? I perform complete physical examination to determine which bone is fractured and what is the severity of that fracture. I order for an x-ray or sometimes an MRI to identify the spinal fracture. A BMD scan, also called bone densitometry, will be needed to quantify the osteoporosis severity and to plan the treatment. Well, what is the treatment for osteoporosis? Treatment of an osteoporotic spinal fracture is usually two-pronged. One treatment of the fracture and the two treatment of the underlying osteoporosis that led to the fracture. Then if you don't treat the osteoporosis, they can have one more fracture in the future. Coming to the spinal fracture treatment in osteoporosis. Friends, treatment for vertebral fracture will typically include non-surgical care such as rest, pain medications, use of heat, or ice for local pain and slow return to mobility. In 90% of patients, these non-surgical methods suffice to keep the pain out and to slowly mobilize the patient. In cases where the pain fails to subside, then surgery may be required. Friends, two procedures are popular. One is vertebroplasty 
and the other kyphoplasty. Both types of surgeries can help the fracture heal. What is vertebroplasty or kyphoplasty? Friends, this is a minimally invasive spine treatment designed to reduce the pain cost by a fractured vertebra and stabilize the bone. An office procedure, a low viscosity cement is injected directly into the collapsed vertebral body under high pressure with X-ray guidance. This will stabilize the fracture and relieve the pain associated. Coming to the treatment of osteoporosis. There are a number of medications to treat osteoporosis and help reduce the risk of fractures. In general, these medications work by helping to strengthen the bones and prevent further bone loss. I put all my patients on regular calcium supplements and vitamin D supplements. And I also suggest hormone replacement therapy for women. How to prevent osteoporosis? Good news is that osteoporosis can be prevented. Number one, exercise regularly. Weight-bearing exercises, activities that work one's bones and muscles against gravity are essential in maintaining the bone health. Whether it is walking, jogging, stair climbing, dancing, hiking, games or certain types of weightlifting or resistance exercises, swimming and cycling are also good if you are okay with that. Number two, ensure adequate calcium and vitamin D intake because calcium plays a key role in maintaining the bone strength. Daily requirement is about 1 to 1.5 grams per day. Number one source is milk. 250 ml of milk has about 300 mg of calcium. I advise to take one glass in the morning, another one in the night if they are not diabetic. So 600 mg has come. The remaining 400 mg will come from other dietary sources such as dairy foods like milk, yogurt, cheese, leafy green vegetables, broccoli, spinach, fruits like oranges, beans and peas, tofu, peanuts, peas, black beans, baked beans, then fish like salmon, sardines. Get enough sun exposure to ensure good amounts of vitamin D in the body. It is recommended that one needs to expose to the sun at least one hour per week to mid-noon sun. Face, chest and arms should be exposed. Sunscreen application should be discouraged. Eat a balanced, healthy diet. Quit smoking because smoking causes reduction in bone density. Limit your alcohol consumption because excessive alcohol use has been proven to accelerate bone loss. Limit your intake of colas and sodas because recent studies have shown that too much of cola or soda can increase the risk of osteoporosis. Friends, undergo bone density testing or BMD to establish your bone calcium measurement. With that friends, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you like the content presented. Please like and share this video with your near and dear ones to put them also on the positive side of their health. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to DocLogs. Hit that bell icon to get instant notifications of my future videos. If you or your family members ever had osteoporosis, what measures you took to optimize your calcium, please share your thoughts in the comment section below so that it will help all of us at DocLogs. Friends, I'll be back with another interesting doc log very soon. Till then, feel awesome, live awesome and take good care of your health.